morning, everyone. Welcome to my cheese factory at Pinecrest Village. Today we're going to do something that everybody can do at home, and uh, you're going to find out it's quite easy. And this is going to be one of the easiest dairy products to make. So we're going to start out with cream, and we're going to explain how we do it for you at home, and then we're going to explain how we would do it in a commercial way with the factory I have here, and then we move on to some of the cheese making. So, uh, what we have here is I have a pint jar with a half a pint of cream and less even. You can see that it's not full. And the reason for that is we have to have room for churning, and churning is an agitation, so we have to go from top to bottom. Very simple. The cream is, ideally is at 56 degrees. You can put your your, uh, now that we're taking a photo of the cream where I got it from, is actually right from your grocery store. Whipping, heavy whipping, heavy whipping cream will always be the best. And uh, if you have your cream in the refrigerator, let it warm up for about eight minutes outside of the refrigerator, and that should give us that 56 to 60 degrees, which will make nice uh, churning and uh, not take so long. If you leave it at 40 degrees, it'll be take pretty long and if you're having kids do it, that could be problems. So uh, I have one here already started already so I could keep on going with our segment and uh, so I'm going to just finish it here. Right now we have small butter curds forming already as you can see. It's nothing like that one at all. And uh, so we're just going to start churning again and uh, you're going to see how fast it uh, turns into uh, Butter, and then we're going to have buttermilk. And after a while, I'll talk about the, the benefits of buttermilk once we get some uh, buttermilk out to try it. We're going to even take a little taste of it. You can, I don't know if you can hear this or not, I think you can, but we're actually making a, a clunking noise. The curd is. We're working out more buttermilk. You've got to know when to stop, but we still need more buttermilk than that. So we're almost there. Cream will take different times to churn at different times of the year. So if you're good for 10 minutes in summer, Maybe it'll be 25 in winter. So uh, it's all what the cows eat. Let me just, let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's see if we have curds here, but we want to get the curds a little bigger and get a little more buttermilk out. We want all butter fat. We're going to make some nice butter. And we're going to see how much butter become, comes out of this uh, less than half a pint that I put in here. It's quite a bit. There we go. Now we have these nice curds. You can see what kind of curd we have. And at this time, we're going to pour some of this buttermilk out without getting too much curd in. We want to get as much buttermilk out as we can, and then uh, we'll have the nicest butter too. Plus, if you do this in a big manner, you can make pancakes with it. <coughs> with maybe a quart. So, just to show you with this buttermilk how good it is, uh, it's uh, it's very sweet. It's nothing like the buttermilk in the store. This buttermilk is right, it gets its name from, because it does come from the butter. Buttermilk in the store is cultured to, more, to uh, make it last longer. And here is, uh, I mean, this wouldn't last very long either, maybe three days without culturing it. So what we do then is you just take your salt, and you can see how much salt I have in here. It's, it's very little, but little, a little less is better than too much. Or you want to leave it unsalted, it's fine too. So just pour this salt in. And uh, you can have 
your kids do this, and by the way, I forgot to mention, this can be done if five years old or 85 years old. Doesn't matter. Everybody, I've had uh, even three-year-olds do it. So we're gonna work this in like this, and I'm not gonna finish it off so I can keep moving. But we're gonna, all this moisture, we wanna get that worked into the butter. So it's gonna take some, it's gonna take some churning action like this to get that nice and dry. And then take it out and chill it in your refrigerator or leave it out and use it uh, that day. And what you can see is a pretty, a pretty good size lump of butter, which uh, would be hard to eat all that up in day, one day unless you're gonna bake. So that's how we churn butter at home. And uh, we're gonna move on to the commercial way of doing it. So maybe people ask, how, well, how, did you, how did you get cream out at my factory? We take the milk right as it comes in and run it through a separator and 45 revolutions on this handle here will give me the right speed of this centrifuge. Which is a, that's the whole picture of all of it is, is uh, the centrifuge is gonna be spinning and centrifugal force is what actually separates cream from milk. Cream is lighter than milk and the heavy side of the milk goes down here and the cream goes in here. You can see why we have a bigger pail here. Here is less, there's always less cream than there is skim milk. So you would have skim milk and, uh, and your cream. So that's how we get our cream uh, back in 1900. And most farmers have this because pre-1900 is very few factories, cheese factories are off. So once we got our butter made, just like we did here, we could either use this churn by turning this crank and it just beats the cream just like I did, or really this is pretty much what I did here, is take this crank and fill, fill this little less than half full and turn this and it goes from top to bottom just like we did with our little half pint jar. So uh, this machine can use, be used for actually for washing clothes too. So if you want to wash after or first, that is another <laughs> discussion. We'll keep that out. But anyways, that's how butter is made up. And, well, and it gives you an idea of how you can do it at home. So uh, we're gonna start to, well, as long as we're in here on cream, and I think we're gonna go with this. Here's a, here's a commercial. Ice cream maker would mix five and a half gallons, which uh, is a lot for for one family. So it was it was done commercially in in the first stages of our old plants like this. And uh, same principle as the machine you can buy at Walmart. All we're doing is we're freezing the cream on the outside of this barrel while we're turning this crank and. The reason people always says on the end, everybody knows they need salt. The salt is only to lower the freezing point of the ice. As it melts, it's always colder. And then inside here we have four blades, wooden blades, and they're scraping the outside and they're adding air and freezing it at the same time so you get ice cream. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty much self-explanatory, just the, the same uh, word of it. Other than that, I think we're going to take a little break and then we're going to go into the cheese making. Thanks for watching.